Got it. That is one heavy snake. Sushi. Let's go out, girl. Whoa. 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 It's okay, officer. Whoa. I don't know what she's doing now. She's coming right at you. I almost... Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog, and I am in what is a completely destroyed cage by Lucy. I knew she was going to shed last night, but uh, she shed all over the cage, and she also gave me some other presents in her water like she did last time. But look at how gorgeous she looks. She looks so absolutely incredible. Yes, she shed all over the cage, but she shed it completely off, and she looks amazing. So hopefully she's in a really good mood today. We're going to take her out of the cage. We have to clean this whole cage. I somehow got to get all the turds down the water clean that water, disinfect everything out. This gives me an opportunity once she's out of her cage to kind of work on things well. The first step is just trying to get her out of her cage. Let's see what happens. Come on, girl. You look so amazing today, honey. Oh my gosh, you look so good. It's okay. It's our, oh yeah, she seems like she's in a good mood. Huh? Huh? Maybe. Maybe. I think she's in a good mood. You okay, girl? You okay? Yes, you're all right? Oh yeah. Whoa. That's my girl. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Yep, she looks good. For whatever reason, it seems like right after she sheds, she's in a super good mood. And look at how amazing she looks. Oh my God. This might be the best shed she's ever had since I've had her since she was young. Ah, she always seems to just have one or two little pieces left, but today she's so good. Oh, look at how bright she looks too. Okay, okay, girl. That's all right, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh, God. Good job, Lucy. Oh, my gosh. She's so gorgeous. And, you know, some people have asked me, how long have I had Lucy? I've actually had her for almost eight years, and we actually hatched her here. So I've had her since the day she was born. But just take a look at this cage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at, she must have been up there shedding. Oh my gosh. I've been talking about putting live cams in so you can watch them all the time. I would have loved to see a camera of what she did last night because holy moly, she did a number on this cage. Okay, let's go ahead and get going with cleaning this thing up. And much like last time, I said I was gonna kind of get some kind of a strainer for this because, you know, picking up turds isn't exactly the funnest thing in the world. It's kind of good when Lucy actually does it in the water because I'd rather actually clean the water, which is relatively easy to do. We have a drain in here and then we can disinfect and shop back out, so that's not a problem whatsoever. It's just a matter of getting the big old chunks out that's not exactly the funnest job. Oh. And I gotta be honest with you, you guys are, are really lucky. Uh, I'll give you an idea. Not good, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly the best smell uh, that I, you know, it's not exactly what I wanna wake up to in the morning. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's so bad, guys. It is definitely really bad. But hey, this is all part of keeping snakes. There's nothing you can do. Oh my it's God. It's so bad. It's bad, it's bad, 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 bad. Oh, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Me too. Oh. I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. No, we're only halfway there. We got a ways to go, guys. Oh. It's taking everything I have not to throw up right now. And why I don't wanna just push it right down the drain is I don't wanna get anything clogged up. We have a clean out on the valve and stuff like that, but no sense in making more work than we have to. Woo, doggy, man, it's- That's uh, so much. All you need is a spoon. <laughs> oh my God, this is turd soup for sure. Oh, okay, okay, oh, come on. Okay, fun stuff guys. All right. You good? Okay, you can leave now. <laughs> Remember the other day when I had Daisy out and I said Lucy would be across the street right now because we never let her out? I think we're gonna go ahead and let her out. I think Andrea's gonna help. I think Noah's gonna film it on his luck so he'll have the whole thing. I'm just gonna let her loose and see what happens. I mean, get down this aisle. I don't think she can get into any trouble. Yes, and she can. What, what? She can run right past the filter and go in no, the No, we're not gonna let her go that far. You're gonna stop we're not her gonna if she let starts her. going. Let's just she's, see where she goes. She's like 130 oh pounds in. Lucy! Let's go out, girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 uh oh. Oh, man. Uh oh. That wasn't expected. Lucy, it's okay. Oh, Lucy. Oh, man. It's all right, girl. Do you want to let this out? Yeah, we're going to let her out. Loose? Loose. Lucy, it's okay. It's all right, girl. She seems pretty happy. Good mood today. Huh? 
I didn't expect that. I, she seemed like she was in a good mood. So there she goes. Okay, girl, you're all right now. You're all right now. You're okay now. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Be free. Be free after. It. Okay. Here she goes. Go. No, jump in! I'm can't do this myself. Jump in. We're just gonna let her free roam. Okay, when I said she was in a good mood, uh maybe she wasn't in that good a mood. But now look at how beautiful she looks. Yeah. No, is that awesome She's or what? She's looking cool. Checking out all the snakes. So again, I'm gonna let her kind of crawl around. Uh Noah's gonna film whatever happens. So if anything oh, yeah. really bad happens, uh I you'll know. see it over there if I if I don't live through this, you'll see it on his channel. Good job, Lucy. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and get her back in her cage. Oh my gosh. You're the only one scared. Literally. Scared? You walk, I'm not you walk scared. By, I'm walking listen, fast. She was completely fine. She was just chilling. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what she's doing now. She's coming right at you. I almost just died. So Noah literally was laying down next to her and she like flung back on oh him. But God. now she's been completely fine until Noah walked by. And when Noah yeah. walked by, she went to strike again. Yeah, she almost tried to kill me. <laughs> oh my God. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put Lucy back now, but oh my God. What an amazing snake. I mean, look at how awesome she is. This is incredible. Oh my God, what an awesome animal. This <laughs> so low team. You got this, right? I got it. You got it by yourself? Just want to do it slowly. I don't want her to get like rough bad, you know what I mean? So I'm just taking it real slow. Gosh, what a gorgeous snake. She is so amazing. And she is heavy, guys. Oh my god. That is one heavy snake. Okay, Lucy. Yeah. There you go, friend. There you go, sweetheart. There you go. Oh, up, 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 up. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what a cool snake. And in Lucy fashion, I bet you she climbs right up on top of that tree, because that's typically what she does. <laughs> Look at her, she usually climbs right up and hangs out at that tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. There she goes. She's always happy up on her tree. I tell you what, I am in awe of that snake. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. Look at her just coiling up on top of the tree like she always does. Oh my gosh. So that's not that, I mean, not that much drama. Noah, Noah so, almost got, uh, got bit once or twice. A couple times. But uh, other than that, it really was no drama. Lucy had a great time being out. Andrea didn't get killed at all, so we're all good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move on because butterscotch, also shed and destroyed her cage. So uh, this is only one cage we had to do today. We got two of these just like this, but the other one is way up top. So Andrew, you're gonna have a fun time crawling in, right? Uh, no, not me. No! Not me. Oh. Yeah, you oh my God, this is horrible. So I'm not gonna lie, this is the only cage that kind of concerns me in the entire place because it's literally the highest cage and we have this girl right over here that is not a mean snake at all, but she's very food aggressive. And the only way to get her is to literally climb in here and go get her. There's nothing else I can do. And she's already, look at, she's already coiling up for a strike. It's okay, girl, it's okay. It's okay, I'm not food. There's nothing I can do but go in after her. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You're all right. You're okay, girl. Oh my gosh, this is perilous. You're okay, sweetheart. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, get her, keep her away. Uh oh. Just hoping that she's not gonna bite. Okay, come on. Okay, she's fine now. We're gonna have to get her in and soak a little bit because she shed all over this cage, but she's got a little stuffed shed on her. So I'm gonna hand it out to Andrea and uh, Andrea can put her in a, a soak and then I'll get in here and clean. All right, so 
no drama there. Once she's out, she's completely fine, but she's definitely very food aggressive. You know, when you come in the cage, she's thinking she's gonna eat. But you can see she just shed all over the place. So I'm gonna have to vacuum this out. I've gotta clean her water out, do all that type of stuff. It's hot in here, it's cramped in here, but this is all part of it. I mean, if you want cool zoo displays, this is kind of how you have to do it. It's really not that big of a deal, but okay, got my work cut out for me. And the next up to kind of clean, and this happens almost every single day, of course, is Abusuku. Uh, always messes up. Whoa! It's okay, Abusuku. Whoa! Uh-oh, uh-oh. There you go. Good, good catch. Good catch, Andrew. I was like kind of, I was like a fish out of water. Okay, Abusuku uh, decided that we're not going to clean the water. No, we are going to clean it. We just have to make sure that she understands that we are not food. Abusuku? Okay, oh, hey, 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 we're not food, we're not food, back it up, back it up girl, we're just cleaning your water, that's a girl, that's a girl, we're just cleaning your water, good job girl, good job, way to go, way to go girl, way to go. And that's the thing, as soon as she realizes she's not getting fed, we do this almost every day to her water, she realizes, all right, and then look at this is what she does, she just hangs out here and that's about it. And again, like I had mentioned, she's so cooperative once she realizes that we're not food. She just kind of watches us and stuff like that. She's a great animal. So now we just have to disinfect the bowl, put some more water and keep sucking out until all the nastiness is out and then we'll fill it up with fresh water. Again, pretty much something Andrea and myself do every single day. Butter scotch been soaking for a little while. Looks like all the shed is off really nice. So all we have to do is put her back in the cage, you know, all in the day's work, right? Come on, girl. Up you go. Up you go. Up you go, girl. There you go. She is such a beautiful snake. So there you have it. You know, I mean, that is kind of the daily grind of working with these animals. And again, every day could be something completely different. Even if you clean that animal a hundred times, it could be a hundred different experiences with cleaning it. So uh, that's just part of the fun. And I love it over here at the Reptarium because we have a blast with these cages. They're sometimes hard to work with, but they are absolutely amazing. So Andrea, Bruce, and myself do all the daily maintenance. The truth is Andrea does it most of the time. Bruce helps a little bit, and then I help out with the big snakes and stuff like that. But it's just kind of cool to go around and look at at every cage and that basically is what happens even though we're only open Friday Saturday and Sunday sometimes we do events like tours and birthday parties during the week but even if nothing is going on I want to always make sure that every cage is completely clean even on the off days when no one is in here I want them to clean the glass I want them to clean the cages obviously the reptiles still have to be taken care of but literally every day we treat it like we're open to the public every single day so everything is getting clean fed washed all that type of stuff and hey listen that's the best way to run a place like this because I kind of feel like if you were only cleaning stuff on the weekends that it would kind of get dirty and stuff like that I mean take a look at Roswell oh my gosh that animal is so cool the pastel pied of course is in shed right now and I still a couple months into this venture love this place even more and more every single day I tell it I cannot tell you how much I love being here look at Fetty Wap over there what are you doing Fetty the Mata Mata turtles oh my gosh they're so cool I I walk around this place all the time just in awe. Look at Karma over there. What's up, Karma? And we are gonna put some more foliage in Karma's cage. He seems to be doing really well, but I do think that it is a little bit barren. There's no doubt about it. So we're gonna add some foliage to that. Uh, Pickles is doing well. Obviously, Casper is looking great. He ate his first meal yesterday. I was so excited about that. Things are looking so good here at the Reptarium. But there's still so much stuff going on here over at BHB. These are a couple of our raise outs here. This is just a lavender corn snake right here. I mean, I mean, we have some really pretty snakes that are going to be breeding in the next couple years. <laughs> like this cute little pastel pink albino hognose snakes. I've said this before, there's actually a couple different albino hognose. There's the orange ones and then the pastel pink ones like this. Look at how cute that little monkey is. I really love just looking through the stuff that Lori and Eric are raising up. Look at this candy cane to Sarah corn snake right here. <laughs> what is it doing? Just sitting out like that. What a crazy little dude this thing is. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. And Speaking of gorgeous, oh my gosh, look at some of these gray banded king snakes. I had mentioned before that we're raising up like eight or ten of these guys. Every one of them is just unbelievable. You know, the thing I think that's amazing.
amazing about snakes is not every snake has to be the rarest snake to be absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at this creamsicle corn right here. I mean, that is just an unbelievably gorgeous animal, but it's relatively common. I mean, babies only sell for like 50, 60 bucks or something like that, but that's just a gorgeous snake. Or how about this blizzard sun kiss corn snake right here? Oh my gosh. Now the blizzard corns are usually almost all white, but when you mix it in with that sun kiss gene, oh my gosh. What's basically going on with this little dude right here is a triple recessive, so it's an albino. It's a muted corn, which is the type B aneurysmic, and it's a sun kiss. So that is a triple recessive. That's a lot of genes, but it looks so cool with those crazy green blotches coming through. And then here's some of the gargoyle geckos that are raise outs. Take a look at this one right here. This is actually the Tiki Gecko Deadpool line. Oh my God. Gosh, that thing is ridiculous. We have some beautiful gargoyle geckos coming up. Oh man, I am so excited about the future for these guys. Regardless, as you can see, things are cranking over here at BHV and I love spending time over here too. Even if my heart right now is over at the Reptarium most of the time, I still love BHV and all the insanely cool animals we have over here. And with that said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. I cannot thank you enough for all the support you give me. Do me a couple favors, it's really amazing important this time. Can you smash that like button? Let's get this likes over 10,000 likes. Leave a comment down below. Have an absolutely amazing day. As always, you better be kind to someone today for me. I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.